Round you everything's a mess Putting me through so much stress Thinking you're the one You make me feel so controlled When I'm with you I get cold Hi Char, Char, thank you for joining Part of me is done Sweet talker No shocker I can handle Sika Salida song like Sita Gomez um, I've been running through the jungle, hi Via. I've been running through the wolves to get to you, to get to you. So thank you for Victorious. Here I am, once again, feeling, thank you for saying you love my singing, yes, all is good. You are at lost, but now and then, I breathe it in. To let it go Hi And I don't know Where you are now Hi Ellie Or what it would come to If only somebody could hear How long are they saying They don't know yet Right now they're thinking I could leave Monday But that's tentative It might be longer We'll see And then we're going to do the rest from home But it's still going to be a long recovery Hi Ellie If you Jesus is with you. Jesus really is. Your prayers are working. Please keep praying. If you figure out how you lost, hi Everson, you lost in the moment you did. You don't have to be afraid to put your dream in action. Wish you so much. Oh, I'm here. I love you. You're the best. And I'm doing good. Hi, Ida. Uh, Autumn, are you a Christian? I'm such a Christian. I'm like the most Christian person ever, especially after this experience. I'm such a Christian. You don't have to be afraid to put your dream in action. Hi, Mary. You're never gonna think you'll be the main attraction. Now the fantasy. Just remember me. Are you doing TPN yet? No, but I'm getting a vitamin IV of literally any minute now of in a banana bag any minute you don't have to be afraid to put with the right combination that i won't be allergic to you don't have to be afraid to put i love your crowd thank you put your dream in action you're never gonna stay positive i'm so positive because i just pray well happy birthday happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear the official underscore sleazy. Happy birthday to you. Hope you have the best day ever. You deserve to have the absolute best day in the whole entire world. You really do. Uh, what are your pronouns? She slash her. Um, Happy birthday to you. Because how do I know if I could trust a boy, trust a boy with my heart? How do I know? Oh, thank you for saying sick clap. How are you doing? I'm doing really amazing. Um, I'll give you a little health update right now. Um, so basically, the really exciting thing is, okay, so basically, um, I am confronting the fact that I had an eating disorder, um, and I'm confronting the fact by being super honest with my doctors by saying, like, you know what, like, I have an eating, I had an eating disorder, and I, I think that I am having all these reactions. Basically, I went to the doctor today and I was just really honest with her. And I told her, cause I, and I told her like, I had an eating disorder in the past. And honestly, I, I know that like, I've ha I feel like I'm having physical reactions, but to be honest, like, who knows, maybe I'm just anorexic and it's all in my head. Um, 
but I don't know what's going on. So I just went to my doctor and kind of spilled my guts to her. It was like, oh, to the end of all, I'll do that after the story. And I'll t- and I was like, told her that like, just the truth about everything and how it they the reactions may all be in my head and I don't know what's going on. I do know that I don't feel well. I do know that I have physical symptoms, but I will admit if like I am crazy. So please just get me all doctors. So then they totally changed my um, my treatment plan, which is amazing. So basically, they're trying everything to see what works if I have reactions or not and that they're like testing my reactions to see if they're like real or not like so I can know if they're real or not and that they're basically having you see every type of doctor so like I'm seeing a lupus doctor, a GI doctor, a fibromyalgia doctor and every type of doctor so it's like I'm finally going to have an official diagnosis which feels so good because it's like my whole entire life I've been diagnosed by different doctors with all this stuff and I haven't known is it just an eating disorder is it is it all in my head do I really have lupus do I really have Trojans because I've had so many different diagnoses and it's just all been so crazy and so even having a psych team as well and looking into all of it so it's like at the end of this process and like literally I saw like five different do- like more than five different doctors so many doctors and I'm gonna have an official diagnosis possibly by Monday that I could tell you about by just talking about it and it's all because basically like you're because of TikTok and so like I'm so thankful to TikTok because if it wasn't for all your comments, I never would have been honest. And also it's all because of God too, because basically I had a near death experience where like I thought I died and basically I repented all my sins to Jesus. And uh, basically parts of the sin were by inner streaming conscious and like, and it was like the most amazing thing ever of like I just kind of got all my guilt out there of like I don't know what's going on and I just like really got saved by Jesus like again and I'd already been saved by Jesus but now I feel like I did but all that matters is that I really now believe that honesty is the best policy of the world and I really feel like your prayers are working and like God is real and Jesus is real. And I really feel like all this TikTok stuff and all this crazy stuff was supposed to happen for a reason. And I really like feel like Jesus has saved my life and I feel like you've saved my life. Like Jesus sent you in my life to save you. But all that matters is that I'm saying all of this to the doctors. So whether this is a mental disorder right now or whether this is God, we will know at the end of this and I promise I will tell you and I'm not going to be ashamed because even if it is a mental illness and it's not Jesus or whatever, I really think it is Jesus and I really think that it could be anorexia too or our friend or whatever, but I do think it's Jesus. Uh, but because it's definitely Jesus, 100% it's Jesus, but it also could be our, but like, but I also could just have our friend or be anything, but all that matters is that I'm being 100% honest with the doctors, and that I'm going to have an official diagnosis at the end for this, and I, no matter what, I'm going to share it with you, and I'm going to be brave, and I just really believe in transparency, and I just really believe in being honest and that this is my purpose in life and I'm just going to tell you everything. But anyways, I'm just so glad that I got help. Like, I'm so glad that I got help. So I'm so thankful for you for pushing me and like 
telling me that I was wrong and telling me that I needed help because I never would have gone to the doctor like you saved my life, like in your comments saved my life. And I just like really appreciate it. And I just want to tell you that I love you so, so much. And these doctors are amazing. And I never would be here if it wasn't for TikTok. Um, so it's not Vast Cell. Well, no, people still think it is Vast Cell because it was, um, like, they're just trying to figure it out. But basically, we don't know what it is. Um, you have to watch my TikTok that I posted. It's like, we don't know what it is. But at the end of this, I will have an official diagnosis with you, and I will share it. And no matter how embarrassing it is, I'm not going to be ashamed, even if it all ended up being in my head. But right now, I have been diagnosed already with some um, physical disorders. So it definitely is chronic illness. I basically, I think the at the end, it's going to be a lot of things from what we're, what we've um, said to Glenn for North Carolina, thank you. From what we've gathered so far, it's definitely is fibromyalgia, 100%. Um, it definitely is lupus, 100%. And it, um, they think it's mast cell, but they're going to keep digging. Um, but I'm going to be completely honest with them about, like, basically I'm just also going to be very honest with them about the fact that, like, I do have an eating disorder, but it is the chronic illness. Too. So it's definitely, it's both. It's an eating disorder and it's chronic illness. It's a combination. Does that make sense? So we'll see, but I'm going to have an official diagnosis at the end of you by the end of this. And I can't wait to share it with you. And I hope that um, you'll accept it. But Number one thing that I want this to be about is I really want this to be about, um, I really want this to be about, like, just being transparent with people and how important honesty is and how honesty is the best policy. And you should never lie about anything or be ashamed about the truth and just confront your issues or else you're going to die and also get help. Like, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed if you have an eating disorder. Like, say that. You know what I mean? And so that's really exciting. And so it's going to be really, really good and really exciting. And just be honest because honesty is so important. And I also think that it's just so important to like I thought she didn't get the IV yet I haven't gotten the IV yet but we're doing a banana bag because I did have a really bad allergic reaction last night to the um Dexter but I'm telling them the truth and I'm talking to the psych team as well and telling them everything and being completely honest so we'll see um but I do think that it was a real reaction to the Dexter because I still do think the allergic reactions are real, but uh, as of right now, but also I think the eating disorder is real too, if I'm going to be honest, like completely, completely honest, and I'm not reading a script, uh, but yeah, I'm going to tell them everything and just be so honest with them and so I think that's really important so I really am gonna get help so that's really really exciting sending you positive vibes thank you so much also I want to say Jesus is real and also I just want to say get help please get help like the, the most important thing that you can learn from my situation is that like if you feel um if you feel like um, 
just anxious at all, if you feel depressed at all, if you feel like you're having body issues, if you feel like you're like having health issues, if you feel like you're having any type of issues, don't let it in inside. Talk to somebody and get help and get help early. Like get help early ASAP because the thing is if you um like just if you like wait too long and you don't go to the hospital you are gonna die like I was so close to death and I got my um test results back and if I didn't go to the hospital when I did when you made me go and you're the only reason I went to be honest like I didn't want to go I just went because TikTok made me and like I feel like you made me ask basically like because of you I asked for help and asked my parents to take me to the doctor and it's like and you motivated me to get help and it's like if I didn't come here I totally would have died and that's so crazy you know what I mean that's absolutely insane and so we're going to have an official diagnosis and it's just, and I'm getting help and I'm getting an IV and they're taking such good care of me and I'm telling them everything and it's like, I hope I'm going to live like the thing is crazy, you know, so it's so exciting and I would have died, you know, and it's really exciting. So. Thank you, love for Pittsburgh. Oh, thank you for the love for Pittsburgh. I love Pittsburgh because Dance Moms is my favorite show ever. And I like, so I love Pittsburgh. Really pray for you. Thank you, honestly. The best thing in the world that you could do is pray for me. Like, that's what I ask because I feel like a lot of people have been praying for me. Like, so many people have been praying for me. And that's yeah. why I better hi. Yeah, just saying that um, they'll be. I know we were talking about the banana bag. Yeah. We're